welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. Here we go with another show. It's the Wednesday night edition, so it should be a lot of fun. Well, let's hope so. Okay, first and foremost, if you are watching the show and on any of the podcasts and you'd like to join the show live, you can do that by calling in 845 277 91 Three, one. That is the call-in number. You can ask questions about life, love, career, finances, or connect with a loved one on the other side. Second, I am here every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. and uh, every Monday at noon central. Okay. I'll never reach out to you on any social media. The healing today on TikTok was um, healing ourselves. Uh, so that's the healing on TikTok if you want to go get that. But you know what? Monday I did like six TikToks. So go go ahead over there. Um, a lot of them are on love. And um, if you want to just zoom through those, they were really good. They were just coming to me all day Monday. So I just kept, you know, um, putting them up. Okay. Now, if you're new to the show, welcome to the show. Here's how the show works. In the beginning of the show, I say um, names, songs, and do a little bit of channeling or a little bit of talking, usually about relationships, what's going on in the world. If you are joining us on YouTube live, thank you. Love you. Uh, you can put in the, the, the chat if you would like me to talk about what's going on in the world, if you have a question, um, if you want to connect with somebody, or if you want me to channel. Um, and I will pretty much, uh, you know, do whatever you guys want, basically, at this point. Um, second, um, uh, what else is there? Oh, okay. Uh, names and then songs. The, um, the name can be your name. It can be the name from a loved one up above. And then the songs can be a song they loved, you loved, or an answer to a question that you currently have about something going on in your life right now. So I'm going to start with the names because some, some names are just coming to me very quickly and I need to start, um, getting to those names. So the first name is Jacko, J-A-C-K-O or J-A-K-O, Jacko is the first name that I'm hearing. That could be a nickname, what you called somebody or what other people call them or your name. Um, the next name I'm hearing is Sylvia. The next name that I'm hearing is P. P. Uh, Okay, this is a tequila, so I don't know if it's actually a name that people have, but it's Patron. Um, I Probably people have that name. I don't know. I, I don't know. Or I don't know. I'm just going to put it out there, Patron. Whatever that means to anybody. Maybe that's what somebody likes to drink. I don't know. Um, the next name I'm hearing is... Uh, is P-E-T-R-E-I-S-E, -E, Patrice? Would that, that's a different way to spell Patrice, but I think that it would be pronounced Patrice. The next name that I'm hearing is Ronaldo. The next name that I'm hearing is Cynth Cynthia. And then the next name that I'm hearing is... Uh, Um, it's a, I don't want, it just seems Jezebel, which <laughs> we all know. <laughs> oh, don't we know? Okay. Um, the next name that I'm hearing is, um, okay. The, the, and then I'm just going to do two more names and then I'm going to move on. The next name I'm hearing is Michael, and then the last name that I'm going to give is um, Robert. Okay, 
Now I'm going to do the songs. In a Monday show, I kept trying to think of this song that I had been hearing all morning. And as soon as I was done with the show, of course, the song comes in. And the song is, um, These Are My People, This Is My Land. Okay, so it goes, These Are My People, This Is My Land, or Our Land. Um and I've only heard that song in one place, but that song was coming on Monday morning and then after the fact. And I think that's just such a great song, especially for what's going on right now. Um, the next song that I'm hearing is um, that, oh gosh, I don't, uh, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. And I, I heard that Monday also. So I feel like some of these songs are the same people or the same answers coming through. The next song that I'm hearing is, um, I'm just going to do two more songs because for some reason songs are just not really coming through right now. So the next song that I'm hearing, well, I'm actually just hearing Bon Jovi, anything Bon Jovi. And then the next song is, um, it, well, Bon Jovi and then Living on a Prayer. But those are the same, same ones. And then Guns N' Roses or GNR, anything GNR. And then I'm hearing Billy Idol, White, White Wedding. And then the last song, I promise this is the last song. The last song today is going to be... Um, I don't know this song. I, I'm just hearing this name or this word. If this is a song, James, James is what I'm hearing. So maybe that's just another name that came through. Okay, now I'm going to move into uh, taking callers and answering questions on um, the phone and then um, in the chat. So if you would like to... Um, Call in. Again, the number is 845-277-9131. I'll be happy to answer your question. Please have a question ready, a very direct um, question ready um, about life, love, career, finances. What I just need a, a really direct question to get into your energy and then to get those, those answers that you're looking for. Um, and then if you want to connect with a loved one, um, just their first name and their relationship to you. I'm also hearing the name Amelia. So the name Amelia is coming through. Um, I feel like this is going to just be one of those shows where everything comes through throughout the show. And hey, that is okay. I want to thank everybody for being with me today. The first um, person we're going to uh, uh, take a call from is uh, 919. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, uh, my name is Sandra K, but I go by my middle name K, and I'm calling from Georgia. <laughs> Sandra or K, how can I help you today? Um, great, thank you so much for taking the call. I have um. I'm having this, some some health issues, and I have a doctor's appointment scheduled for tomorrow anyway. Um, so I'm going to, uh, you know, talk with the doctor there to address the issue. But I'm thinking I might possibly know what it is with my stomach area. Um, but I'm just wondering, do you sense that it's nothing critical, well, nothing fatal, but it may be a hernia? Um. Who? Okay, so ha, that's a that caught me off guard. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, that was not what I, I'm going to ask this in a different way. So just give me a second while I ask. Okay, I'm going to start clearing you really quickly. Um, while I ask this question, okay. just to make sure I get the best possible answer. Okay, so if I ask, is what she's experiencing in the stomach area a hernia? I start to get a yes, and I hear it has something to do with your stomach wall, which again is probably mm -hmm. hernia. I do believe there's also a secondary issue going on. 
um, and not to freak you out. But if they do say, okay, it's a hernia, don't let them stop there. Have them keep running tests because I do feel like there's they're going to find one other little issue. Now, the issue itself, it's critical, but the situation is not, okay? So the way I would say that is it's not going to okay. have a critical outcome, but it's critical that they find it. And I do feel like it is in an intestine okay. area, and it's the upper intestine area. Okay, love? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, definitely. Okay. Does that, that's where the discomfort. Okay, great. That's where the discomfort is, yes. And I do feel like if you take, now I'm not a doctor, but I am going to tell you right, what I'm right. hearing. Okay. <laughs> um, it, you might want to look into some enzymes, probiotic and probiotics, but find the right probiotic. There's a lot of different probiotics for a lot of different yes. things. The most important thing for you is enzymes, though. Even before the probiotic, the enzymes are the most important thing for you. One enzyme I love to take is papaya enzyme. It's so good. I can pop those things like candy. Mm. I don't think we're supposed to, but you can okay. get them, you know, online. You can get them um, any place. And enzymes just, I think, help break down food or whatever they do. You can look it up yourself. But I feel like yes. enzymes are going to be so important for you moving forward. Um, and then the only other thing okay. they're okay. recommending for you is cit citrusy things. Now, when I say citrusy things, it could be, and I'm going to say this, but it's up to you what you do. It could be something like having water with lemon squeezed into it or lime oh, yes. squeezed into it yes. and add a little bit of honey. But if the water's hot, don't don't put the honey in. If the water's room temperature, okay. you can definitely add the honey. I feel like that also will be very good for you. Now, remember, honey's a natural oh, antibacterial. Okay. So it's really good for our system that way, yes. okay? And lemon, yes. I yes. think lemon yes. and lime help with the liver, which is in that upper intestine area. But again, I'm not a doctor. Any of these things would help anybody right. in their journey, but I feel like these things will especially help you. I do feel like you are going to need a procedure. After the procedure, everything will fall into place and you will be feeling so much better and um, the discomfort oh. or pain will be good. Okay? Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. I appreciate this. I will definitely call you back to let you know how oh. things go. But yes, thank you so very much. You are so welcome. I look forward to hearing back from you. And the sooner you get on the enzymes, the better. Okay, love? Yes, I will definitely start tomorrow. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, sweet, sweetie. You have an amazing rest of the week. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry about that. I I didn't mean to do that, uh, to end the, the call so quickly. But sometimes I just switch over and then I hit the button not realizing um that's when your brain is like completely working on three things at once, folks. Okay, hello, everybody. Welcome to the show again. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. You can also join us on YouTube Live. If you are on YouTube Live, say hi in the chat. I love to see who's all with us. Terry's here. Rebecca's here. Um, Patrick's here. Hey, Patrick. Thanks for joining the show. Um we also have Nancy who has a question, and I'm going to have to really lean in to see this question because I am, like, the, the light behind me is so bright, and I just um, am going to have to do this. So I apologize in advance, everybody coming. This is that extreme close-up. <laughs> um, Nancy wants to know, how do you feel the relationship between my granddaughter, Alexis, and her partner, Brett, is going? Will they get married? Thank you. 
Um, okay, Nancy, here's what I am going to say to you. Right now, the, the relationship is going well or good. Um, are they meant for each? Are they a good match? Yeah, they're a good match. Are they going to have a healthy relationship? You know, they could use some help with communication, um, but who couldn't, right? I don't I don't care how old we are. We have communication, communication glitches. Um, they need to... One of the things that would be very helpful for them is to listen to understand what the person is saying and feeling rather than reacting or replying because one of them will do that and then it will end up that both of them are doing that and then the other thing i'm hearing is they uh, you know if i say they're going to get married and then one of them goes out and does a jack-o-lantern move there's nothing that i can do about that a lot of times when people know this is the partner and they have the chance at the good big future, they self-sabotage. What I'm going to say is they have a really good chance at this relationship going a very long way and being very healthy and productive. Um, I do feel like one of them has something they need to. One of them has something they need to finish up before they can completely invest in the relationship. One of them has something they either need to let go of or finish up before they can completely invest and be 100% in this relationship. Now, before we all jump to the uh, third person thing, it could be education. It could be a job that they're finishing to start at a new company. It could be something with a family member, but then there are the third party like things or the other icky elemental things that people do. Whatever it is, um, once that is done, as long as that person cuts it or, or transitions, everything in this relationship has a really good chance of moving forward in a healthy and positive way, which I really like hearing. Um, yes. Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller. Again, if you'd like to call in the numbers to, nope, nope, it's not, there's, it's 845-277-9131. Okay, and I'm going to go to 216. That's where the two was coming from. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, my name is Sharon from Ohio. I hope you're doing wonderful this evening. I'm doing awesome. Thank you so much. Where are you calling? Uh, never mind that. I already asked that. You answered. Um, how are you this evening? Yeah, it's thunderstorming. Oh, boy. I've got, I'm so, I've got this question. I know you'll give good advice. You know, about 10 days ago, we got a big blow that they eliminated my department. They moved all of us to different departments, different new jobs. Without, it was out of the blue. I'm so grateful I have my job. But the job I'm being moved to, I don't know if I start at Monday, and I'm just so leery about it. There's another job that I want to post for. Do you think I'm jumping the gun? Do you think I should give this a chance before I go posting for something else in my company? It may look bad. Does that make sense? It does. And I think I think I did answer part of this question before, but I'm this is this question is being restated in a different way, and there's a different element to it. So I'm going to go right I ahead and answer it again. Or answer I, this I, part I, of the question. No, 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 no. I saw a job. Was, yeah. First, um, don't be afraid. Don't have fear with where they're putting you. It's not. And I think you'll have to go back to the last show where I answered your question. Excuse me. I think one of the things that I had answered was that. Uh, one of the things was that you wouldn't be you wouldn't be in that very long. There would be a move now, whether it's because you know. answer a posting and you apply for a posting, or they move you again. It doesn't matter if you feel called to this posting. Go for it. They won't think badly of it. Just say you're you're being ambitious, and they obviously need people in that area for them to post it. 
always, if your gut tells you something, always listen. The worst thing that can come through is a solid no. The best thing that can come through is you get the position. Um, so if if you're being called to do that, 100%, no two ways about it, go ahead and uh, apply for that posting. But don't be nervous about where they're putting you. I think it will be, it will work out either way is what I'm getting. It's going to be a good fit either way. I do feel like you feel, kind of feel like you want to have a little bit more control of where you're going instead of just being placed, but don't worry. Everything's going to fall into place. Okay, love. That was perfect. I know. Thank you. Sorry for calling. I know I called last no. week, but this was a different because I saw a post it today. Yeah. Thank you. I know you said, I know I'd be there for a while and something else. I remember I went back and listened to it, by the way. Okay. Thank good, I did. Good, good. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. I, okay. I do. I do want to say no matter where you end up, it's going to be a good fit. And you may end up in, in two or three different, I'm just going to call them positions before it all settles down. But I do feel like it's going to, wherever you are, however long you're there, it's going to be very good. And it's okay that the same topic came up because this was a completely different uh, element to that topic. So yeah, I do feel like that was really good. And thank you so much for calling in. I really do appreciate that. Um, if you'd like to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. Um, before I take the next caller, and the next caller is 347, so please hold on. I want to say there are some more names coming in. One of the names is Christy or and or Christina, and the next name is Diane, and the next name is uh, Jerome, and um, it, it's funny, like they're laughing, and I'm going to say it the way they're saying it. Um, hi ho, Geronimo. Hi ho, Geronimo. <laughs> so whomever is saying that on the other side, it and then I see the lone, the lone. I think this is the Lone Ranger. <laughs> I don't even know. Do you guys remember playing Cowboys and in Indian when you were little? My um, my brothers, are, there are like five of us in in five five, and we were very close in age. And they used to uh, tie me to like chairs all the time, <laughs> which explains a lot about me now. Um, but I would be a master at getting out no matter what they did. It was almost like this little crazy challenge. Um, and so, yeah, so that that whole, I don't know why the whole Lone Ranger thing <laughs> took me back to that, but I'm just going to say it's the craziest thing. But I keep hearing hi-ho, Geronimo, whatever that means for somebody. And then I'm also hearing the name Frank or Frankie. And I, I'm i seeing the name Francesca. Now, if those are separate people, amazing. If they're all the same pe person, that's okay too. Um, I'm going to tell you all of these names are coming through. They could be your name. They could be their name. If it is your name or their name, they're just saying hi from heaven, letting you know they're around you. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 347. 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Katie. How are you? Hey, Katie. I'm doing well. Where are you calling from, love? <laughs> New York, New York. Excellent. How can I help you? Um, I want to ask, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm moving. And um, I, I have a place in New York, but they said that it's not going to be ready until November. And I want to move now. Like, I, I cannot wait for November. And, um, but my furniture, believe it or not, is in Georgia. I was the one who wanted to um, move to Charlotte. But my furniture is in Georgia, and I'm just feeling, I'm thinking about maybe just going back to Atlanta because my furniture is there, and I wouldn't have to pay to have my furniture, say, shipped or moved to wherever, because that's just a whole ordeal. So I'm just thinking about the easiest route for me, where I can get a place now and have my furniture. Okay. Um 
I feel like, okay, so I want to make sure I'm getting the question clear and then I'm going to okay. um, try to answer it the best that I can. So your for, your furniture okay. is in Georgia, Georgia and you're thinking about going back mm -hmm. there until November when your place in New York would be ready and then going to New York and being in your place. But I'm hearing your place in New York. The place in New York is going to take longer than November to get ready. It won't be ready um, in November. It's going to take longer for that place to become available. Wherever that place is, it might not be December or January until that comes through for whatever reason. I don't know if they're working on it or they're trying to get somebody out. But that's not going to be available to... Yeah. I had a dream. It's so funny. I had mm -hmm. a dream that they were trying to rent it to somebody else, and that's why they said it wasn't really finished yet. I had a dream that, or that they were showing it to other people, and I was like, "Hey, that's my place." Like I, of course, or yeah. whatever. I just so, get the feeling. Uh, right. So I'm not. No, I'm thinking about. I could just go ahead and get me apartment somewhere else for longer than three months. Like, um, but because I just can't wait for these people. Yeah, I feel like. And even if you do, okay, so here's what I'm getting about the November place. Even if you okay. get into that place, it's okay. going to be problematic the whole way through. I feel like they're just not as reputable as you would like them to be. They're not as on top mm -hmm. of it. There's going to be a lot of problems and there's going to be a halt in the work if they're fi okay so if they're fixing this place up for you or it's just not completed whatever however we would say that um one of the things i'm getting is that there's going to be a halt for whatever reason there's going to be a halt in the work now if they're trying to get someone if somebody's already in there they these people don't want to leave and it's going to be problematic to get them out either way what this means for you is look at someplace else. Look at someplace. I feel like there's a place near there that's going to be a much better fit for you. And it is going to be someplace that you're really going to enjoy being at over this place. And the management is much better. It's even more cost effective. And it is near this place, but, but it is... Uh, it might not be in the most ideal place for you as far as like, let's say this is across from some certain park or whatever. This other place is going to end up just being a much better place for you, okay? So keep looking and don't move twice. Yeah, but I think my question was about the, I'm just thinking about moving where my furniture is for now because I need to kind of move from where I'm staying at. So I'm just thinking about just going back to um, to Georgia for now because I can get a place immediately. And I'm going to say if you want to stay in Georgia, that's a much better fit than moving to New York all the way around. Now, I but the one thing I am getting mm -hmm. is don't move twice. Like if you go okay. to New York temporarily in one place okay. to another place, don't do that. Don't Don't do it. Um, it's okay. going to get you caught up in a mess, okay. a, a trap. And then if you're going to Georgia, you can stay there and you will have a great deal of success there. So if that's your question, whether you should just go to Georgia and stay yeah, where your stuff yeah. is, yes, <laughs> do that. But if your question is, should you go to New York and try to get someplace until this or try to wait tell these people you don't even want that place they can they can do whatever they want with it you don't want it you're you're out let them let them figure that out because that's going to be a mess they're just mm -hmm. i just see that being yeah. a mess all I the way through deposit, that's part of my move money that's part of my moving money but that's why i'm like uh I'm like, Dad, do I even want to pay movers to move? Because I'm supposed to move to North Carolina. Do I want to pay movers to move my stuff from, you know, uh, Atlanta to Charlotte? Because I've already paid these people for this place. And it's like it's like a mess. But, yeah, I'll see. I'll I'll just see. But I get what you're saying. But I did have that dream as well, that they were trying to bring, because uh, uh, I got it at a good price. 
but I had a dream they were trying to give it to some, uh, they were trying to be slick and um, maybe put somebody in there temporarily before I get in there or something like that. I just feel like it's just not going to, for whatever reason, I feel like it's just not going to be ready. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a uh, like you're just going to be strung along with this place. So whatever your other decision, mm -hmm. whatever your next best choice is, yeah. please take that choice because Go this choice is not a good choice. Okay, love? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sodi. <laughs> you are so welcome and good luck in whatever you decide. I hope it uh, comes together for you. Okay, everybody, we're going to go to the next caller in a second. And um, if you would like to post a question in the chat, you can post a question in the chat. I would love to uh, have you post a question in the chat. Um, I, I keep hearing that song now, My Sharona, which is just like a crazy song. My, 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 my Sharona. I don't even know. I It's been for, forever. I would have never, I don't think I could have ever thought, just like these songs are so crazy. And then I'm hearing also the song, um, I Did It My Way, which is actually one of my favorite songs in the world is I Did It My Way by um, Mr. Sinatra himself. And then um, the next song that I'm hearing is, um, well, I'm hearing a name, Isabella, Isabella, Isabella. And then I'm hearing the song that is, um, uh, and I heard this one on Monday too. Live and let, live and let die. <laughs> and then I'm hearing this song. And okay, so sometimes guys, they give me a song, and I, the lyrics they give me are the way this person sang it to you. And I know this song came through once before, a little bit ago, a long while ago on this show. And it is these lyrics. Well, if you know, you know, if this song is for you, you are going to know immediately. So the original lyrics are save my life. I'm going down for the last time. <laughs> But the lyrics I'm hearing are shave my wife. I'm going down for the last time. So if you know, you know, if it's for you, you're going to know it's for you. And that's just what I can say about that. I, I just can't say anything else. So um, I'm going to take the next caller in a second. There is a question online. Um, uh, you asked. Let him get to me. Uh, okay, so Karen wants to know if I'm going to get to her. She's giving, I should be able to. Yeah, because we have quite a bit of time in the show. So um, Karen, one of the things you need, need to do is push the one on your phone so your hand goes up so I know you actually have a question because if you don't push the one, it looks like you're just listening in on the phone. Okay, um, I'm going to go to... 111, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'm just Tony Green. This is Tina from Arizona. And what is so beautiful to talk to you again. And I, lo I love I love, what you say about the music because one of them I relate to, I listened to it like an hour ago. So, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so awesome. That's so awesome. That's funny. Yes, yes. I I love, you know, e even though I can't sing and I know I cannot sing and that's fine. Spirit is going to come through. Angels, your loved ones are going to come through, however they come through. And if I'm so egoic that like because I don't have good singing that I'm not going to do it. No way. I'm going to do it. I'm, if I butcher it, I butcher it. I don't care. Um, so yeah, I love being able to come through with all of their messages, no matter how they are. So Tina, how can I help you today? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I have a question, please, ma'am. Uh, last time you, uh, was right on target. That was about two months ago. I want to thank you for that. Uh, but, but my new question is that, um, uh, I, I have a colleague slash, uh, Frank, uh, Mel, a nice person, um, that I'm, I'm 
I'm not quite sure he was kidding or he 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 said that whatever maneuver or or maybe just for a few days or maybe anyway. Is it true that he uh, going to be taking a trip uh, out of the country further than he's at? No, I instantly hear no. I feel like he's. Mm. I feel like he's not being honest with you. I feel like there's something else completely going on. I feel like he is manipulating or maneuvering something. He's making it seem like it's one thing to get something from you, but it's really another thing. Um, He doesn't have any emergency situations. He's not. He's like a. I, I don't. I don't know him. I'm just giving you the words I'm hearing. And the word I'm hearing is like, he's like a con artist in a lot of ways. Now, people think of con artist as somebody who's trying to sell them something or con them in that way. But people can be con artists in the way that they run a relationship and they're constantly trying to manipulate, maneuver, convince us. Uh, sleight of hand, trying to tell us one thing when it's really another thing, or just kind of telling us part of the truth, but not the whole truth, all to get a certain result that they want. And that this guy is a, this person is like a master manipulator, whomever this friend is, um, they are really manipulate, and they know you're, you have a, like a, you're, I don't want to say a soft spot, but you're empathic. You you will feel badly and and try to help out or do whatever you can in the situation um, or whatever it is. However, whatever outcome they get, they just keep you like I see a string and like they keep you on that string. However, that would work for the two of you but the 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 message i'm getting now okay so we know that's not true but here's the thing and i'm gonna say this with a lot of confidence and i've been in these shoes where i believe people because i just want to believe that people are honest and i want to believe people are normal but there's people out there and the truth always comes out the truth will always come out one way or the other um, I, I have a person and we always laugh and talk about the truth is going to come out one way, whether we want it or not. And ignorance is bliss because you don't know the truth. But once you know the truth, you're not as happy, but you need to know the truth. Um, I'm going to tell you this. If you're asking, you probably already know you just want somebody to confirm it. You want evidence. And the only time we need evidence is when somebody's been manipulating us or making us doubt our own intuition, our own truth. For you, whatever you decide to do with this, that's completely up to you and it's okay. I do feel like there's a lot of things unsaid in this situation. And I'm going to say this to you, Lisa. I think when somebody doesn't tell you something, that's a lie also. If they know it's important, like, like let's just say this. Oh, it's a it's a lie by omission. So if somebody's out doing a, like they're 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 slanging, they're dangling with another woman, but they're not telling you, that's a lie by omission. Okay? Just because they didn't tell you, it doesn't mean they didn't lie. The truth is you thought, and I'm not saying for your personal situation, I'm saying for a lie by omission example. Now, if there are things that somebody is keeping to themselves because if they knew if they told you it would be a deal breaker to the friendship, relationship, whatever it is, that is still a lie. That's a dirty dog lie. That's a dirty dog lie. I mean, it's a dirty dog lie because they're not even... The, it, ooh, it's just a dirty dog lie. And that is a lie by omission. They know if you knew you would be upset. So they try to hide it like a dog burying a bone in the backyard. And it's still, it is still somebody being dishonest with you. 
And I feel like you can feel this. And I feel like you have to make the choice for yourself of if it's okay for somebody to be like this with you and only you can make that choice. And whether you get the evidence or not, if you have the feeling, you have the evidence, but whether you get the evidence or not, you get to choose if this is the type of situation you want to deal with, whether it's a friend or not, okay? Anybody who puts you in a situation where you're confused about the truth, maybe that's not a good person in your life. Maybe that's just not that's just not someone who should be in your life either way. Okay, I hope that's helpful, love. Is that helpful? Yes, uh, I, I hope he is my friend because he tells me he's channeled with you blank. He just asked one last, one last thing, yes or no. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. You, I didn't even, you're talking a bit fast. I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh. Uh. Yeah, he he channels he channels the divine. Uh, so we, I mean, you ask the divine if, if he is really truly my friend. Well, here's what I'm gonna say, and um, and I want you to understand this, the way it's coming through friendship. <sighs> okay, uh, Lisa. I'm going to have to say a few things here and I just want you to breathe and, and come back and listen to this show even afterwards, because I think I'm going to say you're going to get some of this right away, but the second and third time you listen to this, you're really going to get it. A friendship is not dependent on what you do for someone else. A friendship is not dependent upon you building somebody else up all the time. A friendship is, if somebody is truly your friend, you don't have to ask because the way they behave towards you, treat you, and act when they are around you will tell you. I do feel like this person might be, in a way, a bit of a scam artist or con artist. I'm going to say that again, and I cannot be, I do not say that lightly. I do not say that lightly. And if you're questioning, somebody's behavior, integrity, or character, it's not because you're crazy or you have trust issues. It's because they are acting in a way that is making you question that, okay? It's, it's, it's their behavior. So you already know the answer. And sometimes we can know the answer. It doesn't mean we have to take action on that immediately. It means we can sit and think about it and, and see what we want to do about it. I don't feel like this person has your best interest in mind or at heart. I don't feel like this person has as much invested in you as you have invested in them. And, and sweetie, we've all been there. The last thing I want to say about this, and then I'm going to have to move to the next caller. But the last thing I want to uh, want to say is... If you feel like somebody, if you're investing more in somebody than they're investing in you, even on a friendship level, that is never a good thing. Friends, you know their integrity. If, if, if somebody says or does, does something that sets off that little red flag, that feeling in your stomach, trust it. Trust it. It was set off for a reason and not because you're paranoid, not because of whatever. There's our intuition is on point. And I'm just going to say to you, if you go back and you review things, things will start to come clearer to you. And don't feel badly about if you didn't see everything right away. We don't we don't always see everything right away because we're trusting people. We're loving people. We don't have an expectation that people are going to do this to us because we don't do it to them. That doesn't mean it doesn't happen. And what I am going to tell you is to please um, tr trust that if you're getting these answers right now, there is something to them and you might want to consider reviewing the whole 
situation between the two of you and what you've put into it and what they put into it. And every time that you felt like they might not have been honest with you and figure that out again, I, I just keep getting this guy. This person does not have integrity. This person is, um, is not being on. And I just hear this money, 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 money. Like this person is all about that. And they're not trying to, they're not being, they're just not being honest with you. And I'm going to say, if somebody's not being honest with you, they're not a friend. That's it. That's the bottom line. If they're holding things from you, not being honest with you, they are not a friend, sweetie. And you just need to uh, hightail it in another direction from that person because that in my world, listen, in my world, I don't care who you are the moment I think you're not being honest the moment I think you are not being oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys heard that, but after the show, go back to the 45, 50 point and re-listen from then on. This thing that I had um, kind of propped and would not move by any means, just flopped and moved. <laughs> um, here's what I'm going to say. If you can't, if, if, if anyone, friend, male, female, whatever, if you have that feeling that something's not right, it's not right, okay? It's not. Trust yourself, okay? Just, there's so much I could say on this. I'm just going to let that be. Hey, Michael, welcome to the show. So happy to have you. Um, hey, Heather, how are you? Heather, so happy to see you um, here. That was, that was, I have all these plants over here and I had something like I'm kind of propped on a plant and it, it's um, like the thing you turn to open and close the blinds and it was propped in a pretty solid place and it just like, if I showed you, you guys would think I'm making it up, but it's like this uh, cast iron thing that goes like this and it was sitting in it and it, there's like, you would have to lift it up and put it aside, to, but that was what that was. So somebody was saying, amen. And let's confirm that facts on facts on facts. That's all that is. That is confirmation above and beyond. Okay. Um, okay. Heather, I know you love a song of the day and your song today is, um, um, I'm just going to take a breath and ask what Heather's song is. And Heather's song is, <laughs> I think Heather, have you had this song before? You've lost that love and feeling. Oh, I can't even, that love and feeling. And it's gone, gone, gone. <laughs> I can't. I'm going to stop now. I'm so sorry for anybody who had to hear that. I am so sorry. Oh, is Heather says, yes, I have. Mm, 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 mm. She has. She has. It's long, long gone. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller. If you would like to call in, the number is... Um, the call-in number is 845-277-877. 9131. And uh, the next caller is, uh, I think it's 773. 773. What's your name? I am Nan, and I'm calling from Chicago. I And I'm sorry, from Chicago. What's your name again? Nan, N-A-N. Nan. Okay, Nan. How can I help you? Thank you for repeating that. How can I help you today? Oh, no problem. Have, um, I'm just as a guess for all. It's like I am just wondering about karma. Is that stuff real? Um, okay, so thank you. I like that question, and I'm gonna answer it in a couple <laughs> of different ways. And so, as I answer it, please, um, 
I'm going to kind of be channeling. So when I'm done, I'll be happy to respond to anything you want me to. I, actually, I'm just going to mute you, but don't go anyplace, 773. Um, I'm going to mute you so I can get all of this out and then um, come back to you. So karma. Um, I believe the energy we create is the energy we sit in. So if you're a liar, cheater, thief, you're going to be around liars, cheaters, thieves, and that's what you're going to get. Um, if you're giving that out, that's the energy you're in. Now, here's what else I want to say about karma. You know, everybody only looks at it like I did this one bad deed. I stole a cookie from a shop when I was five years old. I did not. I'm just making this up. And so now I have all this bad karma coming to me. But what about all the good deeds we do on a mother, mother cracking, pumpkin loving daily basis? That creates good karma. So even if once a month you do a good deed, that's wouldn't that, that override anything you did that was a bad now i'm not talking catastrophic like you know my ex cheated on me stole my dog gave it to his new girl i actually saw that on a tiktok <laughs> and and did this to emptied out my bank account bought her a bag i i don't know i'm just coming up with random things i'm not talking about that that stuff because the karma is he's gonna be stuck with that girl and maybe your karma is that you're gonna get somebody so much better or you're just gonna get this low life out of your life okay that's good karma right there just getting rid of a liar is such a good thing getting rid of people who want what you have that's good karma. People don't don't think about it that way. But if if you have friends or family that are or, uh, friends or partners or whatever that are trying to get what you have, whether it's your your partner, whether it's your your work or whether it's just your what anything, right? Anything. Um, getting them out of your life is the best thing that could ever, ever happen to you. Okay. Oh, my candle just like totally went out and came back on saying, yeah, baby, that's a fact. That's a cold fact. Now, the next thing I will say is if you are genuinely, your intentions are always good, but every once in a while something comes out that's not so good, you're not going to suffer a hundred years of bad karma for that um, unless you bring that on by believing it. What will generally happen is, okay, you forgive yourself and then you move on. Um, now, I know a lot of people want bad karma to happen to people who do bad things to us. I, I have to say, I don't. If somebody does bad things to me, all I want is for them to be so far out of my life and I wish them love and light because I've seen bad karma come around and it's horrific and I never wish bad karma on anybody I wish everybody like I don't care it happened God bless you go your own way I never wish anyone to get what they anything bad because I I it's if you've seen anybody truly get their bad you, and you are have any empathy or compassion, you don't want to, it, it hurts you to see them go through that. What I am going to tell you, if you're waiting for that, don't. Just the best thing you can do is build your life, move on and become the person you were meant to be. Um, so I'm going to bring on 773 again, Nan. Um, so my answer to that question about karma is yes and and no. I believe we we bring in the energy we live in. We create our world from our thoughts. So if our thoughts say there's negative karma, we're going to be bringing that in. But if our thoughts say there's negative karma, then our thoughts should be saying, every time I leave a penny at the gas station, I'm getting like a thousand pennies in return. I'm getting good karma for everything. I Every time I let somebody walk in front of my vehicle, every time I don't flip somebody off that like cut me off. 
<laughs> maybe that's a little bit personal. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> Every time I, I like know, it. Whatever you do, if if you think there's bad karma, even from a past life, no, because then there's good karma from a past life. There's no such thing as a person that's all bad or all good. There's just people that are living and interacting with each other. And it's our job the moment somebody doesn't interact in the way that we appreciate or that we deserve to like treat them like a little thing and kick, you know, go, bye, go be, go treat somebody else that way, but don't <laughs> treat me that way. But instead we have faith or hope or whatever it is, they're going to start treating us better. They already showed us who they are. Now it's all on us. Yeah. <laughs> it's all on us. And if we keep putting up with it, well, they're just going to keep doing it because that's who they are. Um, so I would say, <laughs> man, in the area of good karma, bad karma, we all have so much good karma coming to us, so much beautiful karma coming to us. Just bank on that and don't worry about it because as a whole, humans are pretty good and pretty decent and pretty nice. We're pretty genuine people. So that should be what is coming to us is that goodness that we've put out in the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, do you like, I that? like that? Was That's that did that helpful. help you at all? <laughs> yeah, actually, it did. It was very helpful. Excellent. And I know very that helpful. whenever anybody says, you know, oh, there's going to be bad karma. Oh, I, you know, blah blah blah. No, we do so many good things on a daily. Like, just think of that and go, where's my good, bring my good karma for the good things. Go back and make a list of all the good things you've done and go, okay, karma, I'm waiting for you. Bring it. We're ready. Bring me my goodness for, for all these good deeds I've done. And um, I always say, people say, oh, the worse it gets, the worse it gets. Well, what about the better it gets, the better it gets? And what about you know, the law of attraction yeah. and we create our world. Okay. Then if we're creating it, just have those thoughts that work in alignment with that and like run with it and just let that be that. Okay. Okay. Excellent. I love that. Philosophy. And, and I'm just going to say, if someone does us dirty, well, at some point in our life, and even if it was when we were five and we pulled somebody's hair on the playground, we did somebody dirty. So now that bad karma is paid off and we can move on. But don't wish them bad. The best thing you can do is just move on with your life and be happy and wish them nothing but happiness and love. Because humans do human things. Humans are always being humans. That's why they call us human beings. We are being human. And 99% of the time, unless somebody's like a serial killer, psychopath type of person, they're not intentionally, I like to believe, they're not intentionally trying to come at you and do things. They're just doing things that are in alignment for them and sometimes that happens. Seconds. So we just have to wish them the best, spank them on the booty, like spank you on the booty, have a nice life, not like spank you on the booty, you've been a bad boy, unless you like that sort of thing. But no, okay, wait, Let, let's get back yeah. on track. Um, spank them on the booty, tell them, hey, have a good life. I wish you nothing but love, light, and happiness. What? Well, Unfortunately, this is where we take different paths, and God bless. And that is it, sweetie. 60 um, seconds. And, okay, I have 60 seconds left. Thank you so much for calling in, love. I'm so grateful I was able to answer. That was an amazing question. Thank you so much for asking it. Um, if you did not get through today, I'm thinking of going live Friday night with Marla. If I don't get to go live Friday night with Marla, um, you can call in Monday at noon. I will be able to answer any and all of your questions uh, Monday at noon central.